up survivors d man here back again with another daisy standalone video now today i'm just going to be sharing with you guys some of the settings i use to get the fps that i get on my daisy standalone videos i had a uh, subscriber ask me what kind of settings do i use and what kind of like graphics cards and stuff do i have well it doesn't really matter what kind of graphics cards you have i mean it, it matters a little bit but right now it's all cpu based but hopefully these settings will help you guys out i will still have everything that i have in the description now if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and you have GeForce experience already then that's good if you don't have GeForce experience however I will have a link in the description where you can go and get it and you're gonna wanna get that and then go ahead and open that up if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card then this is still gonna work for you you just gotta follow the annotation at the bottom of the screen I'll have it at the bottom left and telling you what time the video is gonna start for you guys so uh first off if you do have GeForce experience then go ahead and open that up I already got it open down here Make sure your drivers are all up to date. This is uh, semi important. After you, those are all made sure that they're all up to date, just go ahead and click on the games tab. Go ahead and go down to Daisy, and you're just going to want to optimize your settings right here where it says revert. And then it's going to say optimize. You're just going to click on optimize and then hit the little custom settings tab. And you're just going to want to move this little scroll wheel all the way over to performance. If you're going for FPS, which if you're watching this video, then you are then you're going to want to move this over to performance and just hit apply so next you're going to want to just open up your nvidia control panel which is you're going to have to uh, search for it you're going to hit search and you're just going to type in control panel and then scroll down to find nvidia control panel you just want to gonna, you're just going to want to open that up and go, go to manage 3d settings and you're gonna be on global settings whenever you first come in here and you're just gonna hit the program settings and this is gonna be blank for you guys you're just gonna scroll down until you find daisy and once you get daisy you're just gonna hit add and then you're gonna go down to where it says power management mode this is gonna be set on use global setting adaptive you're gonna wanna make that to where it says prefer maximum performance and just do that and you don't even hit apply. you don't even have to hit apply now if you have two graphics cards and you have them SLI which is like bridged to the bridge together to where you're using both graphics cards on the game you're gonna want to make sure they're using both of them so click on configure SLI and you're gonna want to make sure that's set on maximum 3d performance this is gonna make sure it's using both of them okay so from here on out everything's gonna work for you guys even if you don't have a uh, NVIDIA graphics card you're just gonna want to open up your file explorer go to documents and then scroll down to you find a daisy folder right here where it says daisy.cfg for you I have it open with notepad it might be different for you guys so you're gonna right click on it hit open with and uh, you, you, you might have to go to more options and find notepad go ahead and open that up and GPU max frames ahead and GPU frames detected make sure these are both set on one which I actually don't have that set on one I don't know why that's like that but this this should be set on a thousand you're gonna want to set that on one and this should automatically give you a 10 frames per second boost and then you're just gonna want to hit save and then close out of that now let's go ahead and move over to the game settings okay so some of you guys might already be on the uh, default settings I'm not gonna do this just because every time I change a setting it would cut out the video and it'd cut out the audio which makes it uh, kinda hard to make the video alright so uh, let's get started the quality go ahead and disable the clouds and the shadows if you're going for FPS this is instantly gonna boost your FPS if you're going for looks then uh, I mean I I don't know I wouldn't even enable these but the shadows if you want to be able to see people easier then disable that and the terrain and objects if you put these any lower then it kinda just makes the game look crappy and so I keep those on normal and then textures always keep your video memory on auto this this is just a must uh, I remember after the update I didn't even change this but s for some reason my video memory automatically went to this and I was lagging really bad until I, I looked at my settings and somehow that got changed with the update so texture detail keep this on low and then texture filtering just keep this on very low as well so next rendering uh, anti-aliasing go ahead and keep this disabled alpha to coverage disable that edge smoothening if you can you can play on this with uh, FXAA very high it makes the game look a little bit better but if you're going for FPS 
go ahead and keep that disabled. Uh, HDR, qu HDR quality, keep that on very low. This just makes everything occlude more and makes it look better. Ambient occlusion, disable that. And this kind of just makes the game look nicer, I guess. Um, I'm not going to change it because it will cut out my screen and my audio, so I keep that disabled. Post-process quality, this makes the game look way better. If uh, you're on the default settings, I think it comes on normal, and it makes the game look really blurry. I mean, it it's supposed to be kind of giving you that like real-life effect, but it re looks really crappy, and it, it makes it hard to see players. So just keep that on disabled. Bloom, this just kind of uh, meshes everything together as you move. So I keep mine on all the way down because every time you move, everything blurs and it looks really shitty. Uh, rotation blur, this is just the effect of how the bloom meshes. And I keep that disabled too because every time you move, it, it just is really blurry. And if you're still having problems after... Well, actually, I should talk about this. The V-Sync, I keep this disabled, too. This just kind of keeps your frames within a certain range. And sometimes it can be too, like, too steady. It keeps it within a certain amount of range. And sometimes it can just be too bad. And it, you can actually lose frames from doing this. So I keep that on disabled. And then rendering resolution, make, the, make sure this is 100% overall quality. Uh, I think it should be a hundred percent after you've or be custom after you've changed all the settings like what I have but if not then I don't know it should be on custom once you've done everything I just showed you so uh, that's pretty much it if you guys are still having problems though after after everything just go ahead and go to user interface resolution and look for 1280 by 720p this will this should help a little bit more um, hopefully this video helped you guys out because this is like the best uh, FPS guide I can show you guys. So if it did help you guys out, then help me out. Maybe check out some of my other Daisy videos. And I hope you guys have a nice day.